comedian Dave Daly. We're calling him Double Fisted Dave today for a reason, and we'll get to that. Okay. Okay, you'll see. Wait till, right. the show, wait till the show comes out. All will be revealed. Gotcha. It's a uh, Tuesday. It is the 18th day of December. We are getting closer and closer to Christmas, which leads me to wonder, Dave. Yes. What have you got me? Uh, I uh, I told you I was tapped out on Max's special Christmas gift. So yeah, it, that, it, it's going to be lean time. To me, right? lean it, time. All these years, all the support, all the love, everything yes. I've done for you. I appreciate it. There should be a little something there. You know what I'm giving you this Tell year? Me. My heartfelt respect. And that you cannot put a price tag on. You can't even put a bow on it. Um, it's it, it's that huge. It's that big. It's that incredible. You just, it's priceless. My respect for you as just as a man. You're welcome. That's what you got. Uh, okay. Hey, I got that in spades. My <clears throat> you got something. Yes. All right. Yes. What are we doing here? News? And news. You want to let's do get it. right to it? Yeah, let's get to it. I, I woke up at four, dude. I don't, I, I, okay. I have like a stomach ache thing. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn will be sentenced today. Flynn pleaded guilty last year to lying to the FBI about his contacts with Russia in the lead up to President Trump's inauguration. Flynn resigned his position in February 2017. Now, he's not expected to receive jail time. No. Uh, investigator Mueller said that he didn't recommend it. So okay. uh, we'll see. I remember Trump's uh, former lawyer got three years. So uh, we'll see. If this ends up just being probation or what? But, it would seem like these people are up to no good. Yes, and 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 the world still turns. Okay. Vaping uh, on the rise in American teenagers. A new study revealed on Monday showed that thirty-seven percent of high school seniors have tried vaping. That's up from twenty-eight percent in twenty seventeen. The CDC actually found a seventy-eight percent increase in vaping among teens in the last year. However, binge drinking, tobacco, and prescription drugs are all down. You know, this is all bullshit clickbait. I'm so tired of these vaping stories until you got something concrete because you still don't know. I still haven't found definitive evidence that vaping is actually bad. I'm not saying it's good. I'm I'm not saying there aren't potential health risks, but we've only got five years uh, of study on this. And in the meantime, we have binge drinking down, tobacco, prescription drug use all down. That to me is the story because that's all That's all a net positive. If vaping is leading to that, I'm not saying vaping is good, but I'm saying it's by far from what we know of the dangers of tobacco, of the dangers of prescription drugs, of the dangers of binge drinking. It's all preferable to that by a mile. I mean, this is, I, 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 I'm going to strip it down to the very, the quintessential element of vaping that to me is a problem and that's nicotine and that's how addictive nicotine is. Okay. Breaking a nicotine habit is harder than harder to break than heroin. And that's, that's a proven fact. So but it's the delivery system. It's the delivery system. Right. But I'm just simply saying that getting kids addicted to anything with bubblegum flavored this or tutti frutti flavored that, or, you know, any of these toy, look at it like this. All right, you know, there's a big push against the Alka Pops. Mm-hmm. You know, the super right. sweet candy-like alcohols yeah. that are targeted toward younger people and things like that. You know, um, going back to our day when when it was the wine coolers and the mm-hmm. uh, purple passions and, right. and all that other kind of stuff. That's when it first started coming out. Those things are. I mean, let's be honest. What you're a Scotch man, right? I'm a Scotch man. I enjoy the Scotch. You're a, I'm, you're I'm a highbrow. I'm refined. A refined drinker. I'm a highbrow. Yes. Which we'll see in our photo a little bit in a little bit. <laughs> it's got something to do with double fisted Dave. Okay. It's, yeah. it's kind of like that with these young with these young people and this vaping stuff. You know, I'm not saying it's good or bad. I, I I don't think it's good. I don't know that it's a healthy alternative to smoking or anything like that. Absolutely. But it, it's, it. it's the baiting of these young people in with these candy like flavors. That that's that's got where people have got the question mark. Uh, the the problem to me is it's <clears throat> we don't we we don't know enough that's that's true. But is it pre- yes? It is based on what we know, definitely preferable 
to smoking. It's definitely pre preferable to binge drinking. It's definitely preferable to prescription drugs. I mean, that that's this is a no brainer to me. It's like the marijuana. It, it, would you rather have marijuana, marijuana, or Vicodin? It's, right. it's a no brainer. Right. Marijuana or binge drinking. It to me that's a no brainer. Right. I, Although it, you know, what I've I been hate thinking about lately. something before we know everything right. about it, right. and that's what that's what's okay. going on here. And Fair it. enough. You know what I do know. And I've been giving this a lot of thought lately. I've been seeing these Chantix commercials with Ray Liotta. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to start smoking just so I can quit and use Chantix so because quit. Ray Liotta and, does. And, and, and that's, yeah, yeah. That's your, my most important role. My greatest role is that of a non-smoker. No. That's right. It's not your best role. I want to be like Ray Liotta, so Joe, I'm on my way up to the store Joe for a Jackson. pack of Cowboy Killers right after this is over. <laughs> Honestly, I think he was a better actor when he smoked. <laughs> Honey, I have to buy these Marlboros. Why? Because Ray Liotta quit smoking. <laughs> yes. I want to be like Ray. <laughs> He's a badass, man. I love watching I Ray Liotta. I'm take. a big Ray Liotta fan. Huh? I think one of the, one of the great character actors of all oh, time. Oh, God. I, yes. I love Ray Liotta. Absolutely. And, and you know oh. where he was underappreciated? I really, and I believe this Wild Hogs. Good. You know, I never saw Wild Hogs. Was it was that with Tim Allen? Yeah, and, yeah, Tim uh, Allen and John Travolta. And John Travolta. I mean, the Tim Allen John Travolta thing. It was, it, it, the, the, you know, Ray Liotta was yeah. a true badass in that movie. He was tough, and yeah, I, it also had Marissa Tomei. Uh, yeah, I ha cha cha. I've kind of, I kind of cooled on Marissa Tomei over the years. I, I liked her in My Cousin Vinny. Yeah, I think that was her, that was peak Marissa Tomei. Actually, in The Wrestler. When she had a few more miles on her and was a little more weathered, I I really liked her in that, but yeah, I kind of kind of soured. But, My uh, cousin Vinny, man, what a great movie! That was great. That's uh, that's <laughs> that's cinematic. That's cinematic filmmaking at its finest. LC Walker Arena getting a new roof. This is the latest phase of improvements for the arena. I know this is obviously going to impact your job. The one million dollar project expected to begin late next year so How about uh, that yeah more more improvements to uh the downtown muskegon area and it's uh, needed it's absolutely I mean, needed you know when, you, when you're the game host of a, a, any given event there and you're there and part of your job is get the mop bucket and put it under section 114 <laughs> yeah <laughs> Gotta get time for a new seat. roof <laughs> because the inside i mean the the vip section you know where where, where they put us folk uh you know when we come and and hang out that's you, you that, highbrow that's, types it's great us highbrow, us, us scotch drinkers. Yes, you double-fisted um, you know, scotch so, drinkers. Yes, so we need the, yeah, we need the uh, Double-fisted Dave. Get ready. You going to show it? You going to go ahead and show it? I'm going to show it. Okay. Tune in after we get cool. done here. All right, fine. <laughs> we have a Sports. new lead picture. <laughs> it was the Saints over Carolina 12-9 to at uh, Monday Night Football. Pistons fall to the Bucks 107-104. That's sports. Have yourself a great Tuesday, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.